speaking of. The 13th Annual Chagrin Documentary Film Festival will present 91 very powerful, very compelling films from around the globe. Yeah, filmmakers from all over the world. It actually kicks off today, and the festival's co-director, Christine Davidson, is joining us now live this morning to tell us about this wonderful event. Christine, it's so good to see you. Oh, thank you. It's so great to be here. Well, Thanks we, for having me. You're welcome. You're welcome. We preview this every year. Yeah. The last 13 years, we've supported and followed this, and it gets bigger and better every year. Uh, yeah. I used to live down there, and I love driving down there and seeing all the flags from representing all of the different countries yeah. of all of these film directors. It's yes. so powerful to realize how many people are coming from all over the world to little, beautiful Chagrin Falls, Ohio for this film yeah, festival. It's, it's amazing. It's such as, it, due to the small town feel, the filmmakers that come spread the word far and wide that yeah. this is the film festival not to miss, and especially for emerging filmmakers, because that's really what we're all about. We're yeah. all about the filmmaker and, and allowing them to tell their incredible stories. What kind of stories are we going to see this year? You have 91 total, so it's, it's a lot to take in. A ton to take in. Yeah. We're going to see everything from um, fun uh, candy Pez trading to oh, um, really, really touching and moving emotional um, stories of hope and perseverance. Um, it, it runs the gambit. Yeah. We're seeing yeah. 91 powerful and really unique films. We're looking at uh, one right now. 50 filmmakers from all over the world. But what's so great is that they're here. I usually go every single year. And I love it because the filmmakers are there and they take questions and they answer your questions. And this one is a powerful movie that you were telling us about because... Yes, Ryan Anthony is the principal trumpeter for the Dallas Symphony Orchestra. And when he contracted cancer, he started a movement, Cancer Blows, so he got all oh, of wow. his horn player friends from all over to do a huge concert and raise millions and millions of dollars for wow. cancer research and um, cancer patients, and it's just such an incredible movie. And our festival closing this year features Dominic Farinacci, yeah. um, a Solon born and raised uh, world-renowned trumpeter mm -hmm. who will come and play with Steve Eva and the studio orchestra band from oh, wow. Chagrin Falls. So it's going to be amazing. It will. I, I have goosebumps mm -hmm. just thinking of yeah. what that's going to be like with closing ceremonies there. And yeah. Dominic Farinacci, we love him so much. He's yeah. so great. Yeah, but what a powerful stuff. movie. Yeah, it really, truly speaks to the human spirit. Mm -hmm. um, and, that, and that is really what it's all about because um, the festival came about because Marianne Ponce's son, David, mm -hmm. was an emerging filmmaker, um, very talented and uh, came, uh, was diagnosed with leukemia and um, lost his battle very early. And uh, the festival grew out of that. And Marianne uh, and the hundreds of volunteers that mm. make it happen every single year have, have just created an amazing event yeah. for our community. Well, we love her. Please tell her hi. Usually yes. she's here with mm -hmm. us, but she yep. completed that film and knew what it meant to her son to put so much time and energy and effort. And yes. sadly, he did pass away. And then, yeah. but look at what has spawned forever these uh, last 13 great years. Yeah. Truly amazing. I love that you have uh, some outdoor things going on too yes. with the films by the falls. That's a, kind of <laughs> a great way to enjoy it. Why not? You know, be outside and Right. Get a blanket, and right? Oh, so beautiful I know. there. Blanket and, and uh, grab a blanket and probably a jacket for the later right. shows. But and a so chair, too. You don't have to sit on the ground, you right? You can grab yeah. a little stadium chair or something. Bring your camp chairs. Bring, yeah. you know, bring a picnic dinner. It's it, <gasps> really fun. a great venue to see all of the shorts that have come yeah. through this year and all of the programs that are really amazing. Um, don't miss those because this year we're really focusing a lot on Ohio and local filmmaking. Um, because we have a partnership with Ohio Humanities. So for the next three years, we're working in tandem with them mm. to um, spread uh, the word about Ohio filmmaking and storytelling. That's awesome. And, and we're really focusing on that Ohio, um, mm -hmm. that Ohio mix. So and nine really venues, so inside, outside, inside and outside. everywhere in between, nine venues. And then you've got all the great restaurants in Chagrin yes. Falls. So take it all in. You've got a catwalk. Oh, boy. Cat parade. Bring your cat leashed. Uh, oh my and gosh. come and see, so much fun. And yes, uh, definitely patronize those local restaurants. Yeah. We have a TGIF special going on where they're going to offer half price uh, lunches and all sorts of specials. Oh, wow. So definitely come out, buy your tickets to the movie, and uh, come and 
come and enjoy. There's so much because you can even stream the movies if you don't want to go in person. So yeah. there's so much to this. I feel like we're just scratching the surface. Yeah, exactly. Not a cat scratch, but <laughs> Marco and Paula, we are going to the movies this That's week. Right. Can't wait. Right. Right. Christine, thanks so much. Oh, Thank thanks you. so much for having us. We have us. information on our website, yeah. fox8.com, by the way, if you want to link over to the Chagrin Film Festival. Going on starting today yeah. until Sunday. It's always the best. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Appreciate it.